How do you know when you should automate something you do at work? Well, we think it's simple. Evaluate a task against these three categories. First, it's a task you have to do frequently or on a schedule. For example, maybe you send personal messages to leads after you've made initial contact with them. It's a nice gesture and perhaps that influences your leads to stay in touch. That's a task you can automate. Second, it's a task that involves moving information between apps. When you first contact a lead, you likely put that information in a customer relationship manager, but perhaps you also have to add that new lead to a spreadsheet or database. That's a task you can automate. Third, it's a task that's easy, but it's repetitive and time consuming. Maybe you regularly save email attachments to the cloud because they're important documents. It's not a complex thing to do, but it is a lot of clicking, downloading, and uploading. Ultimately, a task is a good candidate for automation if it takes you away from what you really want to be doing. Automation isn't just about saving a few minutes here and there. Think about how that time adds up over the long term. Now, how does that time break down in cost per hour? Sure, you'll save time and money when you automate tasks, but ultimately, automation frees you up to develop the skills that only a human can uniquely do, like teaching, uh, public speaking, or building relationships. You can spend more time on meaningful work and less time on tasks you could do in your sleep. You now know how to recognize when something should be automated. It's a task you have to do frequently. It involves moving information from one app to another. It's a task that's boring and doesn't require much thinking. Or it takes time away from what you want to do. Remember, a simple command is at the heart of every automation. When this happens, do that. When you have a meeting with a potential lead, send a personal message an hour later. Or when you receive an email with an attachment, upload that file to the cloud. Now here's your assignment. Write down three to five of the most tedious tasks you do every day or every week at work. Include what each one does and what apps you use to get them done and how many times you have to do them. Then rewrite each task in the form of the when and do command we discussed earlier. Keep this list handy. You'll be using it to create your own automation soon. See you in the next lesson.